if you, uh, if you copy one second. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if we are selecting ZRS, any price, any difference? Price in price? Definitely, yes. You will have a difference in the price. Higher price, right? Yeah. Correct. It will have a higher price. We'll also look at the higher price. I mean, we'll also look at the pricing model up there. Uh, we look at that thing, uh, that thing too, as such. So, Kiran, it is uh, a hmm? uh, it's a uh, opposite direction it will set up, right? This one, for example, no. we are in each location. Uh, no, it will no. go to best. Okay. This is zone within the same region. This is the primary region. You are not getting a secondary region. It is not the opposite location. If you want an opposite location, meaning if you're saying it's in East US, I also want my data in West US. That's a different option altogether. That's a different redundancy model altogether, which we'll talk about, which I'll come to in a second. But this is in the same region. That's what that's what that's what I was telling you. It is it will still be in East US2 only, but in East US2, there is just not one data center. There are multiple data centers out here in the same region, and Microsoft is giving you each and every copy in one particular data center as such. And here it's telling that, you know what, the SLA is slightly better. It is 99.12 times nine over a given year. Happens synchronously out there over, let's say, so many things as such. This is ZRS. Synchronous, 99.12 times nine, meaning the SLA is slightly better out here. And I still have a question to Microsoft telling that, okay, fine, you know what, what if the entire region is down? Like, you know, what if the entire East US 2 is down? I have three copies, yes. But what if the entire region itself is down? That's where Microsoft will tell, okay, fine, then you should have gone for another option called GRS, Geo Redundant Storage. Uh, that's what someone was asking, is that it will create in an opposite region? No, ZRS will not create it, GRS does. If I just scroll down, there is something called redundancy in the secondary region in the form of something called GRS. Geo redundant storage copies your, copies your data synchronously three times within the same physical location in a primary data center you will have three copies out here meaning let's say I created my storage account in something called East US 2 this is the primary data center that I do have I said okay fine I need let's say my data in primary data center and Microsoft creates three copies in the primary data center does an LRS in the primary data center and also it creates three different copies across in a different region altogether let's say something like West US too, or something like Central US again the secondary region the secondary region is not in my control I cannot tell Microsoft that you know what I needed in West US. I cannot tell Microsoft that I needed in a specific region. I cannot do that. This is controlled by Microsoft out here. And this is asynchronous replication. It will take around 30 to 45 minutes for all your data, depending upon the size of the data and etc., to get replicated to a secondary region as such. LRS, ZRS is synchronous in nature. It is not asynchronous, but GRS is asynchronous in nature, meaning if you create, let's say the first copy of your data in the primary data center, you will definitely get three copies in the same event, but in the secondary data center for Azure to go ahead and replicate it out, it will take some time depending upon the size of the data and etc. And here you will have an SLA of 99.16 times nine. LRS you had 11 times, ZRS you have 12 times. Here you have something called 16 times nine. <clears throat> Finally, uh, Azure also got with, Azure also came up with something called uh, GZRS, Geo Zone Redundant Storage, which means again, same thing like GRS, but if you look at GRS, in a primary data center, you have three different copies. It's copy one, copy two, and copy three. In a secondary data center, you will get something called as a ZRS out here, <clears throat> meaning three copies of your data that are, let's say, residing in three different zones plus 
LRS in the secondary data center or in the secondary endpoint out here. This is what happens or these are all the replication tiers, the replication models that are available, let's say, in Azure as such. So it's LRS, GRS, ZRS and GZRS out here. So LRS is the very least which will give you, let's say, three copies in the same data center. ZRS, three copies in the same, or three copies, let's say, in the same region, but different zones. GRS is six copies, three in the primary, three in the secondary, two are different regions altogether. Then you have GZRS. Again, if you look at the pricing, I have calculated standard and I'm saying it is LRS. If I change this to, let's say, ZRS, it's around 1784. If I change this to say GRS, 2084 and all these things out. And there is something called RAGRS also, which we'll talk about once we create the account and etc. If I go to RAGRS, the cost is higher. And GZRS, cost is even more higher and etc. So it depends on what is the tier that you create. So the, the cost of the storage is calculated with various particular factors like what is the storage capacity how many times you are copying data into it how many times you are downloading the data from the storage account what is the tier you are grading the storage account in, and all these things out you get all these things out here and these are the factors that influence the cost that goes behind a storage account service and finally i'll just go ahead for now i'll just look at lrs out here uh, there are a couple of things called tabs called advanced networking data protection and etc which will come down to in let's say in the coming sessions out here now i'll just say review and create this out and i'm creating my storage account and as in when i say review and create this out it's asking me for the subscription it's telling it's telling which subscription you're creating this out in I'm saying it's Visual Studio Enterprise subscription. Uh, resource group, demo storage, this is the name of the resource group out here. Location, Central US, sorry, yeah. Location, Central US, the name of the storage account. The, uh, let's say the redundancy that I'm creating and, all, and a couple of things out here by default, which, which got all these options out here. And I can go ahead and create this out here. This is how I create my first storage account. And these are the options that I need to mandatorily, let's say, go ahead and give uh, before I go ahead and create a storage service out here. So yes, any questions still here? Anyone, any questions still here? How many nines in GZRS? 16 nines, same thing. So if you have a single data center in region like Africa, does redundancy work? Very good question. If you have a single data center, redundancy does not work. Reason being, if you, let's say, go back, uh, good question, let's come back. Let's say, create this out. So I am creating a storage service out here. Let's take a demo test resource group, something like this. And I'll say this is a demo store ABC 000 something like this. Uh, just just the name is unique. And okay, not sure what this happened. Okay, fine. If I say something like uh, Australia East, or let's let's go for another location like let's say Africa. Now Africa does support all these things. So you can go ahead and, you know, let's say have all the replication options out here. You can do that, but there are a few regions. Let's say uh, I'll do India, something like West India out here. There are not a lot of options. It's just LRS and it's just GRS. You cannot do a ZRS. You cannot do a GZRS and all these things out. You cannot do that. So not all the Azure regions support all the redundancy options out there so yes if you are in africa yes you can do let's say uh, redundancy it depends completely upon which resource or which region you're creating this particular storage account in again which will uh, provide more security amongst these three no it's not about security it's about redundancy it's not about security at all it's not about the security of the data it's about the redundancy of data. It's about how many copies of data that is available out there. Security is the same across all these things out. Yes, any questions? Any more questions here? Yeah, hi, Greg. Any subscription level will impact it if we are in the redundancy concept? I'm sorry, uh, can you come again, please? 
uh, any subscription level impact uh, in the redundancy concept means uh, so many subscriptions we need to take for different different data centers and different different jobs no no you don't have to no no uh, it's the same so it's one yeah same subscription yes okay. yeah hi kiran baskar here mm-hmm. good please uh, kiran um, if we uh, go for the redundancy means local mm-hmm. or uh, remote or whatever it might be i mean mm-hmm. geo so mm-hmm. uh, do we get the uh, any information uh, about the redundancy like name or something because in case of any issues or if i want to mm-hmm. test test the remote copy so can okay. i uh, can i can i access them great question uh, can i access a remote copy not until it's an r a g r s when i'm saying r a g r s it's called read access geo redundant storage so if you go to a storage account out here when i am going for a replication i'm saying lrs meaning i have three copies of my data that are stored but i cannot read it i can retrieve it in the cases of failure i can uh, let's say talk to microsoft i can raise something called as a support ticket with microsoft and i can retrieve those copies from the cloud i can do that but i cannot read it but when you go for something called grs there's something called geo redundant storage out here do you see an option here called uh, make read access data available in the event of region availability meaning you can go ahead read a copy of the data from a secondary endpoint or from a secondary data center out here provided if it's a ra grs if it's ra read access that's the reason you have a different pricing structure for read access out there so we can look My at this is, uh, if i want to test the copy so mm-hmm. i cannot uh, test on the production copy no. so you have uh, you, correct. Correct. copy Co- correct you so cannot how? test the redundant okay. copy no you cannot test it redundancy is just for disaster recovery scenarios you cannot test that particular copy out you cannot test that particular copy of data the only way you can actually go ahead and let's say test the copy of data is in the event of failure when you have something called ragrs so you cannot test something you are guaranteed that your data is available so when you say test the data you know what would you really do you upload the data or change the data on all that stuff right you can only change on your primary copy you cannot change or you cannot do any changes on the secondary copy as such yes any more questions guys what is the maximum speed in uh, standard again uh, the speed and all is controlled directly upon or it's controlled let's say directly on the physical server which i don't have an access on so the maximum speed it's not really displayed out here anywhere but it's somewhere like gbps per second i'm not too sure on what is let's say the speed again a lot of factors impact that so it doesn't really tell you what is the maximum speed that you get when you go for a premium or maximum speed that you get go i mean get that you go for a standard and extra I can run. Yeah. I I can. Go ahead. Only uh, only owner can create the storage account. Like uh, reader also can create the storage account. Well, you tell me. Can a reader create a storage account? Hmm? Do you think a reader can create a storage account out here? Yeah. What can a reader do? You know the meaning called or the, or the yeah. name called reader. What can he really do? Right? Only read the story. Oh. Exactly. He cannot create something. Then com- contributor can create it. Yes, contributor can create it. Again, contributor has the same access as an owner does. But oh. contributor, the only thing that the contributor doesn't have is that the contributor cannot go ahead and let's say add another user. He cannot do and add another user out there. So that's the only thing the contributor cannot do. Apart from that, he can go ahead and let's say. Add, create, storage accounts, and all that stuff. Okay, thank you. Please, sir. Good, please. 
sir for example uh, my app is running on uh, south india mm mm-hmm. so as i said before so in the region only you have to take the storage right correct correct so same like that right now here uh, my south india only i am taken the storage but i am mm-hmm. taking here uh, gzrs okay okay so i have a multiple uh, uh, resources i have and the storage also they are given to microsoft Mm-hmm. so no need to take any uh, so central india right for example central if i am taking a central india it's a too much of mm-hmm. price so that's why i am mm-hmm. choosing a south india that's a little bit uh, uh, lesser cost mm-hmm. so in that time uh, it is work on not in the tap so if i say india so let's go to india out here this is south india in south yes. india you only have two backup options either lrs or grs you don't have gzrs you don't have all these things out here either okay. lrs grs or something called rgrs so again not all the azure regions support redundancy so if you go here and let's see the documentation out here this is what it tells you so let's say zrs this is zrs out here and it's telling you that these are the only regions which support zrs you cannot have let's say another region apart from this particular list so in this region central india is the only thing that let's say uh, in that supports let's say zr i mean the support zr is out here okay hi kiran good news uh, we are taking the storage data and uh, storage one automatically manam copy after that uh, storage two storage three automatic copy that correct this is automatic you don't have to do this these are all okay. taken care by microsoft the copy is taken care by microsoft and yeah hi kiran yeah sorry just a second uh, I, i'll just take a question uh, uh, that is there in the chat window just give me a second i'll come back to you so the question here is that in case of primary data center failure how much time does it take uh, how much time does it let's say take to require access from the secondary data center again uh, completely depends upon the size of the data it can go somewhere between 5 to 15 minutes i have seen like terabytes of data being copied across to the secondary center in in let's say 15 minutes out there so it can take somewhere from 5 to 15 minutes out there that's the time for replication as such hello kiran yeah good please yeah i mean if it is synchronous i don't think there will be lot of time because once it is down i think mm-hmm. it will be automatically connecting to the other data center i guess again synchronous when you say synchronous there are only two options that are there that gives you synchronous out here lrs yeah. zrs yes yeah. both of them they don't have a secondary data center this is the primary data center right so it's it's not a secondary data center at all when you want to access your data from a secondary data center you will have to go to mm-hmm. something called ra grs geo redundant okay. storage and grs mm-hmm. is only asynchronous it's not synchronous so okay. that's how the calculation works yeah uh, which locations are data is stored in three copies uh, again it it depends upon where you are creating it meaning if let's say it is east us in my case the second region will be west us or central us depending upon the availability of a particular region that's something that i don't have a control on and does it depend upon yes does it depends upon redundancy yes yes uh yes good any other questions out here uh, yeah. the data will be flashed uh, only mm-hmm. storage will be retrieved or uh, apps also and uh, users also will be retrieved again very very important when you're saying the data is crashed so when you say the data is crashed do you mean that the storage account is crashed or full entire system will be crashed The, again the entire system the, the crash of the entire system is actually a very major event and in my mm-hmm. years of azure like it's been almost like 9 years with azure right now and there was never such a kind of an event and hopefully there will not be a such a kind of an event as such when you say a data is crashed you'll have to be a little more specific that is it the storage or is it let's say the entire azure portal if you say the entire azure portal no you won't be able to access anything in that case if you say a particular data service like storage account whatever is the data that is available in that particular service out here meaning whatever is the data that is stored in that particular storage account that won't be available that won't be accessible as such okay in organization level also they will take storage only mm-hmm. right correct 
Okay. Yeah, Kiran, can we take uh, one hour right for the for practice for the storage account? Is it possible, or we have to pay for the entire day? So one day. Uh, you mean the payment option? Uh, if you, if you if I got yes, the question yes, correct, yes, yeah, yes. you can. No, no, it's not an entire day. It's it's a uh, you know when you let's say create resources in Azure, it's an hourly pricing structure that you get. So if you go ahead and let's say practice it for one hour and delete it, the cost will only be for that particular hour as such. Someone else had a question. Ravi, I think you had a question. I, I had to answer. I had to let's answer the particular question. Someone else had a question, is it? Yeah, in the case of a GRS, so our data will be spread all over the globe. You know, in the case. In the case of GRS, data will be spread all over the globe. No. In the case of GRS, the data will be spread between two different data centers. One primary, the second is a secondary. Let's say my primary is East US, secondary will be something like West US or Central US as such. It is not all across the globe. Okay, GI is not like uh, it's entire the globe. Just in no, the it's not US something. Okay. Correct. Okay. Tell me storage account interview questions. Storage account interview questions. Great, good one. Uh, I almost forgot that. Let's give dot interview questions as well. Let's. I'll just forward the link. Across to you. Just give me a second. Where to start? Let's see. I have a lot of accounts out here, and it's a little difficult for me to manage. Let's come back here. I'll just send across the interview link out here. Good, good question or good reminder. Let's go in here, and I'll also explain what is service and all that stuff. But yes, you can take these as the interview questions. Again, there are a lot of topics that I need to cover. Once we cover those. I will tell you what are the interview questions and all these things. Again, the assignment that I want to give you all today is create a simple storage account. Just do with the first, let's say the first page and what is the redundancy and all these things out. And just understand on the overview what all that you see here. And my assignment for you all is read the replications. Very, very, very important. Please read the replication in very detail. If you go here, this is the documentation for replication. I'll just share the same thing across to you all. This is the documentation for replication as such. You can go ahead and read this particular documentation as such out here. Or you can just come here, click on this button and say learn more. And my assignment for the day is this. Create a storage account in LRS. And after creating the storage account, the question here is that can you change it to GRS? If yes, how can you change it? Where can you change it? Please Google it out. Please try this out. In tomorrow's class, I'll answer how do you change it and all that stuff. But before I go ahead and tell you, all, please try it out so that you do some Googling and you do some searching at your own and all these things up here. Yes, any more questions here, guys? Hi, Kiran. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, if uh, we create a, a storage account and we have to delete it or uh, remind it for tomorrow also? Uh, well, I would say if, I mean, I would say though it's a free and a paid or a paid account, just delete it. Uh, just make sure to delete it. How do you delete it again? Good point. How do you delete it again? Just come here. You have an option to delete. Just say delete. And it's asking type the name of the storage account to confirm. So this is the name of the storage account that I created. I'll just do a copy paste set delete. So delete it once you're done with the practice. All right, so with that I'll close today's session and tomorrow uh, again we'll resume our offline batches tomorrow guys. So uh, today I had a little bit of let's say uh, challenges to come offline from tomorrow we'll again start with both offline and online again so you can come to the class tomorrow as well i mean you can start coming to the class from tomorrow and let's start the, the session tomorrow with a couple of questions and then let's go into let's say the data storage and all these things out there thank you guys and have a good day ahead